a quick tutorial on how to slope structure when you have a sloped roof like a gable or a mono slope and we want that structure to follow that roof. So let's start off by quickly modeling a roof. I'm going to start this at our level two and let's go here and let's draw a rectangle. Doesn't matter too much the size. I'm going to select three of these lines. I'm going to turn off the slope. I'm going to change the slope to be a 212. Now let's click our check mark and we're going to go to our 3D view here. So we have a very simple roof like this. And so here's where uh, the trick comes in to make this real easy. We're going to go up to structure. We're going to go to beam system and we're going to zoom in so we can see the underside of our roof. And we're going to go up here to where it says set work plane. We're going to click set, set work plane, or we're going to click pick plane. Uh, in this case, we can just click pick plane. And we're going to actually pick the underside of our roof. And so now when we go to draw that, uh, let's go to our level two. And maybe I'll go to our level two ceiling plan. Uh, let's go to level two. And we don't see the whole roof here, but um, should we just go to our 3D? Uh, a good thing would be to do would be to adjust your uh, view range so you can see it all in ceiling plan. But I can go into my ceiling, my 3D view in here just because I have just this roof and click bottom. And I'm going to use the pick line button. We're just going to pick all the edges. Uh, we don't need to lock it, but we could. Uh, I'm going to change it to be the long direction. And so it looks like this now. So we have that beam direction to be on the long direction. And we can click our check mark here and it's going to automatically model these eye joists. Um, so if I wanted to bring in uh, a different beam here, let's go to load Autodesk family and change our region to be US Imperial. Let's just type in timber and enter and we can bring in timber here as well. And we can go to six by 12. And I often bring in a couple sizes at the same time. Um, so up to you what you're using, but we can just click our beam system now, just this dash line, and we can change that to be maybe a six by eight. Maybe we go to three foot centers and automatically adjust that to follow this. So the principle would be the same. If you had a gable roof, you would just need to adjust your beam um, footprint or your sorry beam system footprint to just only be a portion of the roof that's sloping in one direction. So that's how to slope structure to follow the roof.